This video is a demonstration of putting down the first layer of color on top of the artwork. We've already put down two layers of base coat that was white and we are now choosing a color scheme for the first layer of colors. All right, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna mix up a little bit of paint. I like a certain consistency when I use sponges and most of the time I'll add a drop of water or two uh, mix it up with a knife, get it to the consistency that I want, uh, and this will be your preference. Of course, it depends on the, the project and the look you're trying to achieve. I want to put this down with a sponge. I want it to have a slower drying time, so I want it wetter, and that's why I'm adding the water. So in some places, I will go heavier, and in other places, I will try to apply it much lighter. Now the shape of the sponge is allowing me to do a couple of things. The sponge in and of itself will give me more benefits than it will cause problems. And trust me, it will do both. For me, the cost of the problems is not outweighed by the benefits that I am getting. The problem is that that shape at the bottom of the sponge, that square or rectangle outline over time, as you repeatedly stamp the canvas to spread around the paint, it's going to begin to leave that imprint in a pattern and that pattern will begin to show. And that's something that you don't want. Now you'll have to develop your own strategy to get that out. But some of the things that I do are use a different size sponge and work it out, or you can apply pressure in different degrees as you move around, or you can use another color to blend it out. And the benefit of that flat surface on the sponge is that it hits the surface of the canvas evenly, and it makes the depth of that cardstock, those layers of cardstock really stand out and sponges help you to blend very well. So I'll continue on. As you can see, the letters are not being filled in traditionally with solid colors or even multiple colors. You have the paint, which is outside of the shape of the letter and onto the background of the canvas. This is the style that I wanna use because of the look, the final outcome that I am going to achieve by doing this uh, strategy or style right here. As you look at this next color going on, you can see the next couple of letters begin to emerge in the name Gabriel. You see the E right next to the L. Uh, that's starting to come into view. And you can also see the I, at least the middle part of the I, come into view. It will be helpful when you're working to sometimes take a step back if your canvas is flat on a table just stand up and get a better look at it if you're using a standing desk drop it down if it if it doesn't if your standing desk doesn't move at all just take the artwork place it farther away than 18 inches so that you can get a different perspective on your artwork and this stage is complete check out the next stage in the project 